Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and this time we will uh, comment on ongoing events and I have to say that if this what we know and we don't know much because during every conflict we have incredible eruptions of propaganda and misinformation from any side of the conflict uh, so we cannot be really sure for 100% if we even have general uh, picture, very general picture and very basic picture of this what's happening. Uh, so we need to be careful in our analysis. But even if this what we know about current conflict in the uh, western part of the Eastern Europe, so uh, conflict between Russia and Ukraine that started in 2014 and was uh, uh, really slowly uh, going till uh, February 2022 later g got intensified and now uh, from this what we see from this what we can say we reach the level of the trench war again uh, because all sides uh, took their positions and actually nothing moves for real for last several months of course uh, I always emphasize if, it, if it's true because as I mentioned to you in the beginning uh, in such situations from both sides we have incredible eruption of propaganda and misinformation so we need to be careful and try to filter uh, everything and try to extract real facts from this all uh, stinky mixture of lies, uh, misinterpretations and misinformations. <laughs> but uh, this is the only thing we can do. That's why coming back to my analysis I can make on the basis of this what we think we know. That we are coming back to the reality of the trench war again. It reminds me to some extent, we will see how long it will last, the conflict from 1980s between Iran and Iraq, when the uh, situation was even worse because mm, the uh, real uh, borders of the two countries didn't, didn't actually change and uh, the forces of one country didn't penetrate uh, more than uh, several uh, more than 30-40 kilometers deep within another country but losses of both sides were incredible and war lasted uh, for eight years so and it was classical trench war uh, analogical to the situation on the western front in first world war so in my opinion this is what we can state uh, now is that similar situation or the beginning of similar situation we have in the Donetsk and Donbas uh, and Zaporozhye oblasts when where we see that uh, both sides are sitting in trenches and from artillery they are shooting to each other this is what we can extract from the information and misinformation uh, mess that it's reaching us so it tells us mm, that mm, within current technological setup in terms of mi military affairs both uh, b both main sides of conflict cannot actually defeat each other mm, really clearly that we reach stalemate very quickly and this stalemate is quite annoying and very 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 costly because uh, the fact that we have stalemate doesn't mean that the uh, efforts to continue this conflict are done no they are still undertaken and uh, spendings are still ongoing and losses are still also present losses in people losses in equipment so we see that uh, as of now Mm, as I mentioned once, uh, and, uh, our uh, three superpowers of the world, uh, 
US, China and Russia and their, their allies reach such level of technological advancement and also tactical advancement that they cannot clearly defeat each other that when the conflict between them uh, starts they reach stalemate quite quickly uh, how long it will last I don't know but this is what I see as of now and this is not uh, this doesn't give us a lot of consolation because it means that seemingly as of now from this what I can extract from this informational mess we are heading towards uh, another trench uh, trench like war that will cost the cost us a lot and uh, cause many economical problems we have already enough and of course our uh, business political elite will use it all the time uh, as an excuse to uh, decrease our living standard and introduce another restrictions on our everyday freedoms we need to defend and we need to be aware of it that like it was with small Chinese friend this madhouse now this uh, ongoing conflicts uh, like in the um, borderlands of Russia and Ukraine and few others will be intensified from time to time and used as an excuse to uh, of course take our money by inflation and uh, uh, rising prices and also the uh, attempts to take our freedom in the name of safety we cannot allow for this because then we will be heading towards a social credit system and other things we we people who are aware really don't want like we have in china or even worse all the best have a nice day bye I wish you a lot of health and freedom. Take care.